All right. I want to say all praises be to Abba Noah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Haraka Kodash, double honors to the apostles, Waza Kwanyam of Great Millstone to rule well. And shalom to the sincere brethren, Akim out there across the four winds, the four corners of the globe, pushing his truth, this good news of Yahweh Shai, proclaiming salvation to the elect of Israel, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And proclaiming the downfall of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and his wicked and evilest empire. You understand? Hey, so basically, man, hey, we we prepare we preparing for the ushering ushering in of the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, man, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, man. And I noticed I made emphasis emphasis on that kingdom that or that word king, man, because what the kingdom of the Lord, man, of Yahweh Shai, is gonna be led by men, man. You know what I mean? Because that's the rightful order of things, man. Because in this world, in this contemporary society, everything is all mixed up, man. And turned back, backwards, forwards, man. Upside down, you understand? Where you have, what, women ruling over men, man. In this queen, man, women asserting authority over men, man. Of which is totally backwards, you understand? And to show this, hey, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold... The tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. And there it is right there, man. The, 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 the head, man. The head of the house, man. The head, the head of the tabern the head of uh, the, the, the church, man, is what? Men, man. You know what I mean? Well, the head of the church is Yahweh Shai. But in terms of the, the, uh, the regular level, man, is men over women, man. You understand? And, and the most is dealing with the men, man. Yahweh Shai is dealing with the men. Not the woman, you understand? The woman Lord is the man, man, and the woman, the women honor the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai through what honoring their men, man, reverencing their men, you know what I mean? A righteous man, you understand? And he will dwell. Behold, the tabernacle of of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them, and be their power. So it starts with the men of men, the men, men, the sons of Israel. You know what I mean? The sons of Israel. That, that's who this, the, the kingdom of heaven starts with, man. That's who Yahweh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is looking to, to lead the nation, man. The men of Israel. You understand? This is the book of. Because you have this, uh, this philosophy out there about, oh, the strong black woman, strong woman, strong woman, this strong independent woman, this. Hey, all of that shit is bullshit, man. You understand? All of that shit is bullshit, man. You know what I mean? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. Can't. Unto you, O men, I call, man. That's why when you see at the camps, so you see you see men at the camps, man. You see all men at the camps, because what? The camp is the battlefield, man. The camp is the front lines, man. The camp is, is a war zone, man. A spiritual warfare. And it could also get carnal too, man. Because you have what? Carnal people in this world, man. You know what I mean? So that, that's why the, the, this work is for men, man. Women are just a support system, man. A helpmate. But men is who Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai looking, looking forward to stand up, man. You so-called black men. You so-called Puerto Rican men. You so-called Native American men. Stand the hell up, man. Stop letting these, these, these women rule over you, man. You know what I mean? We know we in this gynocentric society man so you know you have you have that that uh that 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 thing within within you to kind of simp for women man but you have to get out of that mentality man you know what i mean unto you O oh men i call and my voice is to the sons of man can so the most is looking for the men man the men to stand up to rise to the occasion to rise to the battle man you know what i mean that's what yahweh Hashem yahweh shai is looking for man not women man of which this society pushes that woman empowerment, man. This is the book of First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven, and this right here crushes all you woman pastors. You know what I mean? You you feminists. You know what I mean? This is the book of First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Can't say the woman are supposed to learn in silence, man, with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach. No, to usurp authority over the man, 
but to be in silence, man. Because ain't no woman belongs ruling over no man, man. Teaching no man, leading no church, man. Being a pastor, man. Being a deacon, man. They have no business, man. They belong silence, man. But to be in subjection, man. Ain't no woman judges, man. You know what I mean? Ain't no woman priest, man. You know what I mean? That's out of order, man. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Come to the man. The man is not of the woman, but the woman is of the man, man. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in, transgre was in transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Cancel, we're not canceling out the woman, man. The woman, woman are going to be in the kingdom of heaven, <laughs> but in their rightful order, man. You know what I mean? They're not going to be no independent, strong black woman in the kingdom of heaven. No way, man. You're going to have what? Princesses, man. Righteous princesses from the tribe of Yahweh. Righteous princesses from the tribe of Napathalia. Righteous princesses from the tribe of God. Right, righteous princesses from the tribe of Banyamian, so on and so forth, man. Not no strong, independent woman cursing men out, screaming at their baby daddy. All this madness, man, that you see in our society today, man. You know what I mean? Why? Because this devil has, has turned everything upside down, man. You know what I mean? He has turned everything upside down. Let me take a finest precept real quick. Come on. This is the book of <clears throat> Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people... Children are their oppressors. Kind of who are those children, man? Esau, Edom, man. Because Esau, Edom comes out of us, man. Abraham, Isaac, man. You understand? We got what? Esau, man. You know what I mean? As for my people, children are their opp oppressors. Esau, Edom. You know what I mean? And women rule over them. <laughs> and women rule over them, man. That's Jake, man. Women rule over you, Jakes, man. Hey, that's why, what, in 70 to 70 to 80% of the households in the so-called black community, what, women are the head of the household, man, which is completely out of order, man. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy parts. Come on, that's why you have a million Negroes and Hispanic, a million, two million Negroes and Hispanics in jail, man. Because what? These women lead you unto what? Emotional, man. Lead you to be what? Gangbangers, man. Homosexual. Drug dealers, man. Pimps, all these things, man. That's what that woman, that that woman leadership, lead lead you Jakes into, man. You know what I mean? Cause you have no type of structure, you have no no type of guidance, man. You know what I mean? Let me read that again. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the parts, the way of thy parts. Can't say hey, you Jakes are destroyed, man. You know what I mean? You setting up women over you. You know what I mean? I, 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 you, niggas are, you niggas are dumb, man. You know what I mean? You have the so-called black conscious community talking about the black woman is God, man. You know what I mean? Which is total madness. But, but that's what, that's Negroes in that, 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 that comatose, effeminate state, man. You know what I mean? This is the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. Can't, so let me read that again. But I would have you know the head of every man is Hamashiach. Can't, so Yahawashai Hamashiach, man. The savior, man. You know what I mean? He's what? Our head, man. He's the head of the men of Israel, man. That's why we look, look unto him. That's why we always what? We always big up the name Yahawashai, 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 man. You know what I mean? And the head of the woman is the man. And there you have it, man. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Can so the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, man. You understand? So that, that that's the rightful order of things, man. And that's always gonna be in our kingdom, man. The domicile of the king, man. That's what kingdom means. The domicile of the king, man. The domain of the king, man. 
I mean, and who is a king? A man. A male heir, man. Ain't going to be no queens in our kingdom, man. You know what I mean? That's totally madness, man. And out of order. It's going to be a kingdom, man. The rulership of the kings. Who's the kings? The sons. The sons of Israel, man. You know what I mean? And we're going to have what? Our princesses, man. Our daughters, our, our, our wives, man. You know what I mean? In their rightful order, man. You know what I mean? Not like in this society where it's just madness, man. You know what I mean? Because, hey, Esau, Edom know what? The power of the nation is with the men, man. That's why the so-called black man is what? Public enemy number one, man. He want to kill off you so-called Negroes, man. You Negro men. You Puerto Rican men. That's why he's incarcerating you at these high rates, man. You know what I mean? He's pumping all these drugs, guns. And all, all, all manner of wickedness and destructive tools into your communities, man. He kill off what? Your leaders and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? Because what? He, he know, hey, J, hey, Esau know what? The power of, of Israel, of you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American is in the men, man. Same thing going back to Egypt, man. They wanted to kill what? The, hey, the, the males, man. They always, hey, every nation know when you conquer a nation, what you do? You kill the males, man. You enslave or kill the males, man. Because that's a nation's power, man. The women, you concubine them. But the men, you enslave them or you kill them, man. You know what I mean? And also the men is, is what? Carry on the nation, man. Because a woman don't de determine the, the lineage of, of, a, of, a, of an individual. The lineage of an individual is determined by what? Their father's lineage, man. Let me see if I can find that in the scripture real quick. In the book of Numbers, right? Uh, kind of, I know it was Numbers 1 and 18. Khan, this is the book of Numbers. And this is why it's so important, man. The, the men of Israel is so important, man, because we carry on the livelihood of the nation of Israel, man. You understand? This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first month of the second month, on the first, like on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their family. Your pedigree is what? Your lineage. You know what I mean? That's a pedigree, man. Your lineage. By the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Can so they declared what? Their, their, their pedigree after their families by the house of their fathers, man. Because what? Your father determines your lineage, your nationality, man. You know what I mean? That's why, hey, it's so important, man, to have a male here, man, to have sons, man. Because that, that's the power of a nation. That's the kingdom, man. The, the men of the nation, yeah, that's the kingdom, man. You know what I mean? That's the survival of a kingdom. That's the survival of a nation. That's the survival of a family. That The men, man. The sons, man. And that's what we're going back to, man. The 144,000, man. Men. You know, you know what I mean? 12,000 men out of each tribe, man. Creating what? That governmental structure of the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Men are not women, man. You know what I mean? That's the rightful order, man. And that's what it's going back to, man. Abaratiza. So with that, I want to say, Kal halal yom la, abanawa yahawa ba'ashim yahu shai, ba'ashim ha'arakakudash. Double honor to the apostles was a quantum of great males on the rule well. And shalom 